Hello good day viewers, still on coordinate geometry, here is our problem for today which involves an inscribed triangle on a cycle. The points A, B and C with their respective coordinates lie on the circumference of a cycle. A. We are asked to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line AB, AC. B. We are asked to find the coordinates of the center and lastly write the equation of that cycle. Alright, let's get started. Suppose we have a cycle like this. According to the question, there are three points on this cycle. Let's call them A, B, and C. And what about their respective coordinates? For A, we have negative 3, 19. Negative 3, 19. B, we have 9, 11. 9, 11. Then the last one, C, which is negative 15, 1. So we have negative 15, 1. And we have learned that ABC is a triangle, so let us connect the points. Alright, we have already connected them. We are asked to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line AB. So let's start with AB here. There's Roman 1. If we have a line which is perpendicular bisector of this line AB, it is going to bisect it at right angle and it is also going to divide it equally. So let's assume this is the line which bisects line AB. We want to find the equation of this line. Let us call it L1. To find the equation of this line, we need to know the midpoint. That is the point of intersection between this line L and uh, line AB, which is just the midpoint. So what will be the midpoint here? Let's find the coordinates of that midpoint. To find the coordinates of x, you take negative 3, you add it to 9, and you divide by 2. Negative 3 plus 9 is 6, and 6 divided by 2 is 3, so this is 3. 19 plus 11 will going to give us, what, 30, and 30 divided by 2 is 15. Then secondly, we need to find the slope of the line AB. So let's find the slope of the line AB. So slope of line AB you know it is going to be equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So we can start from other points. Let me start from A. We start with y coordinate, which is 19, minus y coordinates to the other side, which is 11, divided by x coordinates here is negative 3, minus 9. Let's simplify this. To the top, we have 19 minus 11, which is 8, Divide by negative 3, negative 9 is negative 12. If you reduce it to the lowest term, I believe 4 can divide 8 how many times? 2 times. And it can divide 12 3 times with our negative sign. So this is the slope of the line AB. So remember that if two lines are perpendicular to each other, their respective slopes are going to be the negative reciprocal of each other. Therefore, the slope of this line L will be the negative reciprocal of this. So we have the slope of L is equal to the reciprocal of negative 2 divided by 3 is negative 3 divided by 2. If you negate it, you have positive 3 divided by 2. So the equation will be y minus y1 equal to m for the slope multiplied by x minus x1 so let's substitute which point are we going to use the point is just the midpoint which is what 3 comma 15 so we are going to see at 3 comma 15 so we have our slope and the point so this will be y minus y at that point is 15 this is equal to m which is 3 divided by 2 then multiply by x minus 3 at that point Let's simplify and get our final equation. y minus 15. This is equal to 3 divided by 2x minus 9 divided by 2. If you multiply 3 divided by 2 through the bracket. So now let us add 15 to both sides. We have y equal to 3 divided by 2x 
minus 9 divided by 2 as negative 15 crosses over it becomes positive 15. And 2 multiplied by 15 is 30. 30 minus 9 is 21. So we have 21 divided by 2. Finally, our equation is equal to 3 divided by 2x, then plus 21 divided by 2. This is the equation of line L, right? Then secondly, we ask to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line AC. So where is AC? We have this line to be AC. We're going to do the same thing. Suppose this is the line that bisected it. We also need the midpoint where the line intersect the perpendicular bisector. We need the coordinate at that point. We take negative 3 and add it to negative 15. That will give us negative 18. You divide by 2, you get negative 9. So we have negative 9 here. Then for y, we take 19. We add it to 1, we get 20. 20 divided by 2 is 10. So therefore, we have negative 9, 10 at that point. Then also, we need to find the slope of this line AC. So let's go ahead and find it. Remember, this is the second question. Roman 2. Slope of AC. It will be equal to Y2 minus Y1. We can start from other points. 19 minus 1. Divide by negative 3 minus minus 15. That is negative 3 plus 15. So we have 19 minus 1 divided by negative 3 plus 15. This is equal to 18 divided by 12, right? 12. And 18 divided by 12 to the lowest term is equal to 3 divided by 2. Because 6 can divide this 3 times and 6 can divide this 2 times. So this is what we have. So what about the perpendicular bisector? Let me call it L2 this time around. Let's call this L2. Let's call this L1. Okay. You know their respective slopes are just the negative reciprocal of each other. Therefore the slope of the line L2 will be what? Negative 2 divided by 3. And at what point? The point of contact or intersection is what? Negative 9, 10. So we have negative 9, 10. Therefore, our equation is y minus y1. And this is equal to m for the slope x minus x1. y minus y at that point is 10. This is equal to our slope is negative 2 divided by 3. Multiplied by x minus minus 9 is plus 9. Let's expand this. We have y minus 10 equal to negative 2 divided by 3x. Then minus plus is minus. If you multiply this by 9, we have 2 times 9, 18 divided by 3 is 6, right? So this is 6. And you can take negative 10 to the other side. We have y equal to negative 2 over 3x we have minus 6 as 10 crosses over it becomes positive and finally we have our equation to be equal to negative 2 divided by 3x then plus what 4 and this is just the equation of l2 uh, this is for l1 we are done with the first question then moving on to the b part we ask to find the coordinates of the center. What is the coordinate of the center? What you should know is that these two perpendicular lines, L1 and L2, will intersect exactly at the center. Remember this from cycle theorem. So this point is exactly the center of the cycle. And how can we obtain it? We are going to take the two equations and set them to be equal, then obtain the corresponding values of x and y. All right, let's go ahead and do that. So the B part, L1 is equal to L2. This is what we're going to do in order to find the points of intersection, X and Y, the coordinates of the center. And what is L1? The equation of L1 is this. So let me just copy that. Just copy the right-hand side and set them to be equal because they are all equal to Y. 
so this is for L1. This must be equal to the right hand side of L2. All right, so we are going to solve for X. We have three divided by two X. If this crosses over, it becomes positive two divided by three X. This is equal to four minus this as it crosses over 21 divided by two. Now I would like to multiply every single term by six just to clear the fractions. So this is what we need to do. We multiply it by six. If we multiply this by six, we have six times three, 18 divided by two is nine. So we have nine X plus six times two, 12 and 12 divided by three is equal to four. We have four X here. This is equal to four times six is equal to 24 minus. If you multiply these two together, I believe two can go into six three times. Then you take the three, you multiply by this. You have three times two, six, three times one is three. So to the left hand side, we have nine plus four is 13. And this is equal to 24 minus 63, which is negative 39. Then if you divide both sides by 13, X will be equal to negative 39 divide by 13 and you know this can divide negative three times so x equal to negative three this is the coordinate of x at the center so what about the y we can take one of these equations and substitute x equal to negative three so let me take this second equation so if y equal to negative two divided by three multiplied by x plus four we have y to be equal to negative two divided by three Multiply by x, which is now negative 3, then plus 4. This is equal to negative, negative will turn to positive, and 3 will cancel 3. We only have 2 plus 4, which is equal to 6, and hence y equal to 6. So therefore, the coordinate of the center will be for x, we have negative 3, and for y, we have 6. So negative 3, 6 is the center of that cycle. Let me just write it here, negative 3, 6. This is the center of the cycle. And the last question, we're asked to find the equation of the cycle. Remember the standard form of the equation of the cycle is given as x minus a whole squared plus y minus b whole squared, and this is equal to r squared. What is a and b? a is this value and b is this. So we are going to substitute them. We have x minus a is negative, so this becomes positive 3 whole squared plus y minus 6 whole squared, and this is equal to r squared. The only thing we need to find here is the r squared, and how can we find it? Let's go back to our diagram. Remember that radius is just the distance from the center to any part of the circumference. So if we so wish, we can take the distance from here down here, and that will give us the radius. So let me just copy the coordinates from C down to B. This is radius, right? So what are the coordinates? Let me take the coordinates. We have negative 3, 6 down to positive 9, 11. This is what I need to copy. Remember that this is C and this is B. We want to find their distance apart, which is just the radius. So C, B squared, if you can remember, the formula will be equal to what? Let me even write it complete. X2 minus X1 whole squared and uh, plus Y2 minus Y1 whole squared. Remember C, B is radius, so we have C, B squared, that is R squared. This is equal to x2 minus x1. You can start from other points. Let me start from left to right. We have negative 3 minus 9 whole squared plus then 6 minus 11 whole squared. Therefore, r squared will be equal to negative 3, negative 9 is negative 12. Negative 12 squared is 144. Then plus 6 minus 11 is negative 5 and negative 5 squared is 25 and 144 plus 25 will give us 169 
therefore r squared is equal to 169. We are not going to take square root because the right hand side is already r squared. All we have to substitute is what? 169. So therefore finally the equation of the cycle will be x plus 3 all squared plus y minus 6 all squared equal to 169. This is the equation of that cycle. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.